there's an esoteric level of human stupidity to attack someone on stage. You do realize what a stage is for, right? I mean, people pay money to see the guy. A stadium packed with people that pay money to see the guy. What do you think happens if you try to tackle him? <laughs> we know what happens. Honestly, um, am I even allowed to be happy that this guy was apprehended? But in all due honesty, why is it not shocking that that is a left-leading person? Left-leading, but usually I don't go after the politics, but every single time you read in the media, a far-right individual, the far-right is rising, or oh, the far-right, toxic masculinity, to You have a soy boy now, okay? A soy boy who can't handle jokes. Like, jokes were tutsuyoi for this. It, it drove him insane. He took psychic damage when he heard the joke. You know, it, it's funny how Katie Griffin, after Will Smith, the slap, she was like, oh, my God, I, I am so afraid. I am so afraid. This is this is toxic masculinity. Um, why not this is toxic Netflixian? The, the, the people at Netflix, you know, because of YouTube Terms of Service, I can't really... Go a little bit deeper into it. But but the people who got offended at Netflix and the people who protested and whatnot, they're the ones that caused this. They're, they're the ones responsible. Why can we never hold left-leaning people responsible? Like, if you want to get away from responsibility, you get a kosher job at Netflix. And then when you do stuff that have consequences in real life, uh, th you're not held responsible. Yeah, I know. It's just I, I I'm just trying to show how it would be like, because uh, I'm pretty sure like I have a couple of uh, progressives that watch my videos and you you don't like these arguments right you don't like uh, the the way I frame things well this is the way the media frames things every single time a crazy person does something and you can somehow tie it to masculinity or the far right and and all the other bullshit it's like somehow I'm responsible because people do crazy stuff you know crazy stuff happens. This guy probably regrets it. And Chris Rock did make a good joke. Was that Will Smith? No, Will Smith actually managed to land the slap. Like, this guy didn't even manage to get... You see, this is the difference between Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle was actually holding this amongst his fans. Like, people enjoyed his work. At Hollywood, really, no one cared about Chris Rock. Like, no one tried to... Uh, apprehend Will Smith, no one tried to escort him out of the premise, no, no one did any of that. But but here, the situation was a little bit different, yes. Especially because Dave Chappelle has courage. He knows that he's going to get in trouble if he keeps making jokes, because, again, like, the progressives, the, the ones who believe men can get pregnant, have an ideology so fragile that if you laugh at them for two minutes, it all falls apart like a house of cards. So they need to defend it using violence in situations like like they need to go after comedians. But again, like you, you can choose not to watch. And it's even more funny because like I wouldn't have known Dave Chappelle was doing a bit if this guy didn't do the tackle. If he wasn't doing the tackle, I would have never even known. Watching Dave Chappelle, believe it or not, is not part of my daily routine. But it, it I guess it takes for a progressive man that's forward thinking enough to do something so stupid. In order for me to know about it. So, apparently, the incident took place during the Netflix is a joke comedy festival. See, this is why I started to agree with the critics. Dave Chappelle is not funny. Netflix is a joke. It's not a joke. Like, it's reality. Yes, Netflix is actually a joke. So, you, you can't make comedy over things that are real. But Dave Chappelle apparently performed on a number of occasions at the venue in the last month. The attacker tried to run the stage, run off the stage after the attack, but was caught and tackled to the ground by security. According to the video footage that emerged, Chappelle was unhurt. Yeah, you can't say the same about the attacker. I would show you a picture so you can see, but um, Susan doesn't like it. Susan doesn't like it when you show reality on YouTube. You can see it on CNN, though, probably monetized, and Fox News, and every other media station. But if I were to show you the picture here, Susan doesn't like it. 
Okay. Chappelle has been a controversial figure for his jokes about transgender people. Um, notice how saying that uh, men can be pregnant is not controversial. Like, the media will never report it as controversial. But if you make jokes, that's controversial. Okay. I wonder how many times I'm going to say okay in this video. Because it's like very difficult not to. There have been rumors that this attack was a response to these kind of jokes. Chris Rock backs up Dave Chappelle. Ooh, I don't know if that's good, Chris. He, he's too toxic. He's too radioactive. By the way, if you would have backed him up when Netflix was going... Well, sorry. The staff, the higher-ups at Netflix was going after him. Uh, he would have gotten in trouble for doing so. But I guess uh, now it's okay. Like, after after he's getting attacked, now I, I guess a little bit of help is required. Why didn't people back him up before this, though? You know what? Better late than never, I guess. Uh, Chris Rock had performed the set earlier in the evening, according to ABC News. He came on stage with Chappelle and joke, Was that Will Smith? The incident comes after Chris Rock was slapped in the face by... Yes, we know. I think the whole world knows at this point. I mean, we, we have seen it in slow motion. We have seen it live. Well, actually, no, we haven't seen it live. No one watches the Oscars. Like, literally, this is... The, the moment of the Oscars, uh, if you're organizing the Oscars uh, for next year, may I suggest doing an MMA match uh, between actors? Like, people might actually watch that. Or a fisticuffs, you know, like uh, being a puglist. Puglist, like uh, some boxing event between actors. Oh my god, I would watch that. Later, a Hollywood Bowl spokesperson told the agency that an investigation is into the attack on Chappelle. The incident that occurred, like, what? Well, I, I, I can just tell you from now with no investigation. It's a person that got ass hurt. Big mod. Big mod over Dave Chappelle. Big mod. Um, yeah. Uh, don't assault comedians. What do you want me to say? Apparently, it, it happens more often than you think. Um, I've been talking with comedians, and most comedians stop, start their career in nightclubs and stuff, and they do get attacked there. So, um... Yeah, I, I, I do believe Katie Griffin where she says that uh, it's traumatizing because, well, I mean, it is a part of your life that I guess they're trying to put away. So uh, it's it's not nice. But it's interesting, right? Uh, in, in an era of liberty and it's a free country. Remember that expression like it's a free country, like you can say whatever the fuck you want? Yeah. For how long will that last with uh, things like this? Especially when people on Twitter uh, were siding with the tackler and they were saying that the people who stopped the tackler uh, were doing a little bit too much it's a crowd of people i don't think they uh, usually act on reason alone you, you know when, when there's a group of people when it's a high number of people a congregation when it's a congregation uh, emotions run wild it's very difficult to stop them which is why you shouldn't assault people on a stage uh, you shouldn't assault people periodly you shouldn't assault people at all but if you must be a criminal, uh, don't do it on a stage, because uh, you might not like the results. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.